greetings from Father Robert to the parishioners of Our Lady of the Visitation, and in fact, everyone who follows on our YouTube channel, whether you be from Cape Town, South Africa, or the rest of the world. This is just a short message to wish you a happy new year. May 2021 truly be blessed. The truth is 2020 has been a very hard year, and it's easy to focus on the negativity, on all that has gone wrong, on how bad it has been, and we want to draw a line. That is a very normal and human temptation. But we have to also face the reality that there are still going to be hardships ahead. But there have also been good things and blessings that have happened in this year that has passed. Those blessings have not always maybe been what we wanted, but sometimes they have been what we've needed. As individuals, as families, but also as a parish. Because they have been good reminders to us of faith. And so as we turn to our faith as we cross the threshold from one year into another, we are reminded that hope shines brightest in the darkness. There is much darkness in this last year and in our current times. We all know people who are suffering, people who are infected and and affected by COVID-19. And yet it is in that darkness that our hope, our hope in Jesus Christ, our hope in resurrection must shine brightest. In fact, New Year's Day, the 1st of January, is always the solemnity of Mary, Mother of God. It is the oldest title of Mary, and one which tells us more about Jesus than it does about Mary. It tells us who he is, that he is God. And so as we face this new year, we remember the words of M. L. Haskins, who said, I said to the man who stood at the gate of the year, Give me a light that I may tread safely into the unknown. And he replied, Go out into the darkness and put your hand into the hand of God. That shall be to you better than light and safer than a known way. That is good advice. We need the hand of God. We need that knowledge of his light and truth. But it doesn't take away from the difficulty that we are facing. And so in line with the President's request to light a candle and ask us all to pray for those who are infected and affected by COVID-19. We're going to supply a short liturgy for you and for your family. We'd ask you to light the candle, to remember those who have gone before us, but also to remember those who are suffering, to name them, to present our prayers to Mary, Mother of God, to present our prayers to her Son, that we may truly put our hand into the hand of God that 2021 may be lighter and safer because of faith. I wish you a blessed and safe and happy 2021. Many things have changed, including our lockdown. Therefore, we will be resuming our live stream. The schedule will follow and you'll be able to follow again on our live stream. So stay safe, be kind, and let us flatten the curve that we can save as many lives as possible. A blessed 2021.